quick video on how to log into the Great Wall V200 um, ECU. Now the hardware you'll need is you'll need a laptop and you'll also need this part here which is that will plug into the car's OBD2 port. It plugs in under the, under the dash. Now if you do a search on um, eBay um, DS150E you'll get a whole heap of these come up. Now you can choose whichever one you want. This is the Bluetooth model. Uh, that will also plug into a laptop by USB. It does a whole range of cars, not just the Great War. And it deletes um, engine codes. Um, you can re So far I've done the engine codes, reprogrammed um, injectors. So, so far so good. Now I'll take you out to the car and just show you a few things. So we'll zip out there now and plug it in. Okay, we're here in the car now. Um, as you can see, it's on the Great Wall. See what it's doing here. It's on the Great Wall. And I'm in Australia, but you still use the Steed. And the next one here is 2011. And the VIN number. I don't know what all that means, but anyway. Um, it's a diesel. Um, 4D20 is the engine, 2 litre. And this system... Um, you actually find that number is actually on the um, ECU. Um, if you look under the passenger seat, the actual computer's under there, or the ECU's under there, and it'll have that number actually printed on it. That way you'll know which ECU to, you've got to um, log on to. I think there's a couple there when you change it. Diesel. There's a couple more there. That's for the 2012. The one I'm after is 2011. It's a bit hard with this plan. Um, and you go over to down this bottom corner down here. And click on connect. And oh. oh. In shot. Okay. Hopefully that will start working here. You can see the little flashy lights and stuff change on on here. Flashes green and blue. And you go up to here. And just to click on tic tac. You can actually um, turn things on and off. I'll turn the fan on. This is the this is the um, thermo fan. Click play. Okay. okay. Hopefully you can hear that. Now you can test the thermo fan. Um. If you go back, there's a whole heap of tests on there. If you have a look, I'll scroll for a little bit. Injector test, all the lamp tests. Um, go back, back a page. Oh, fault codes. I've got no fault codes, but that's where they come up. And you can go down one. You can, if there's a fault code, you can actually clear it. So there's no fault codes here anyway. Mm, maintenance. I'll ask you which, which test do you want to perform. And I have used the injector one before. I have put in new injectors. Or two new injectors. So if you just do injector programming, and up here in the top corner here, you click OK, and you'll that's that's all the numbers on the injectors. So you can reprogram injectors if you need to. Oh, I'll just abort that. 
Um, what's this here? That's about it, I think. It does all the graphs as well. Engine's not running at the moment, but we'll see what we can pull up. Inlet temperature tells you there. So what I'll do, I'll put it down to put down here on the bottom this little graph. And then I'll fill up with a graph on the screen. Anyway, so the actual software we'll get out of all this. Um, it is a um, Delphi software. Let's see how close I can get you. And it's Delphi software, and it's a DS one five zero E. It's two thousand and fifteen, release three. So it does a whole heap of um, cars. It's not just a Great War. But so far I've just used it on the Great War V200. And the V240, if someone wants to know about the V240, you can just leave a comment and I'll see if I can see if that works on the V240 as well. Well, we're just under the bonnet. So what I'll do, I'll just run the thermo fan. So you can hear it start up from out here. So I'll just Quick start. Click OK. There you go, you can hear the fan. What's the fan starting? Another thing they have trouble with these things is the EGR valve. So I'll find where the hell that is. EGR valve? Where is it? EGR valve. Click start, click OK, you can hear it clicking on and off, there's another test you can perform, mm. this is just the basics, you, know, if you, you can even reprogram the ECU, um, all the injectors, um, just about what Whatever they can do with a car yard or a service centre, you can do yourself.